last day of January Jumpstart. You guys have had a long journey for this month. Hopefully you've learned a lot about what fitness really means, about being uh, sustainable in your movement practice, uh, doing good recovery work, uh, great warm ups and cool down exercises. Uh, and now we're gonna do something that might put you out of your comfort zone. And the whole point of doing this at the end of January Jumpstart is that we wanna intrigue you to continue practicing fitness. So we wanna give you new things, new skills to try, to get better at, to learn, because that type of interaction with different movements is what drives sustainability, makes fitness enjoyable, and keeps you healthy long term, as opposed to just finishing a four month program and going back to your same old lifestyle. So hopefully this is good for you today. Hopefully it gets you excited for what comes next. Um, and uh, we'll get right to it. So as always, we're gonna warm up accordingly. We're gonna do some new drills. We're gonna start with what I call an adductor hinge. Okay, so we're gonna be in a tall kneeling position and you're gonna step out with your right leg. So we wanna be in this sort of seven position. Okay, figure seven. Toes are gonna to point forward, so you might already in this position feel a little stretch on the inside of the legs. These are the adductor muscles, okay? And all we're gonna do here is push our hips back like we're shutting our car door with our bum. We've done a lot of that hip hinging this, uh, this month, okay? You're just gonna push those hips back. You're gonna feel an increased stretch in here and then come forward, okay? So quite a simple drill. Arms can come out for counterbalance. Sink back onto that hip. Keep those toes pointing nice forward, okay? And we're gonna continue here to warm up the adductor hinges, and then again on this side, same thing, hips pointing forward, and we're gonna sink back onto that hip. And again, talk about asymmetries and things to work on. This right hip for me is so much tighter, I have so much less mobility, so when I go to warm up this exercise, I'm gonna take a little bit of extra time in my warm up to hit this right side and get it ready for the workout, okay? Then we're gonna do some serratus push-ups, so we've done this in multiple different variations uh, throughout the course of the program. Okay, so from our hands and knees, all you're gonna do here is let your set shoulders, or your, your belly sag towards the mat. So you're gonna sink through your shoulders, and it's a very subtle movement, but all you're gonna do is without straight, without bending your elbows at all, you're gonna push your chest up and through, and then sink back down to the mat. Okay, so very simple, subtle movement. What I don't wanna see is that you round your back to get through your shoulders, keep your, your spinal alignment stacked, okay? So like you're standing up with perfect posture, you're gonna keep that spinal position, the movement comes from your shoulder blades rounding around your back, and then pressing up and through, okay? Easier version from the hands and knees, the harder version here is to do this from a plank position or a push-up position, okay? So just a very, very subtle movement driving through, we're really gonna warm up that serratus anterior muscle, so this we're gonna be doing a boxing workout today. That serratus muscle is very involved in throwing a punch and we wanna warm up accordingly. And finally, we're gonna do a sideline thoracic spine mobilization. Really awesome drill just to keep that back feeling really nice, okay? We're gonna bring the top leg, or uh, the bottom leg underneath. Top leg is gonna go behind, okay? So we're in this five month developmental position. We've actually utilized this in a lot of different moves throughout the program. We've done our five to seven transitions for the rotator cuff. We've done our hip uprighting here. And now what we're going to do is just very simply reach as far forward as we can. And then keeping this knee on the mat, you're going to open up like a book as far as you can. Trying not to lose this knee. We don't want to roll, right? Pin that knee, active across the anterior chain, open up close it down, reach forward. You really want to reach across the body and then open up behind and we'll do the prescribed repetitions. Again, opposite side here, elbow at 90, knee at 90. So we're matching that five month developmental position. Reach and then open up, keeping that leg on the mat and just a lot better mobility on this side for me as you can see. So something for me to work on in the warm-up when I do this workout. Now, let's get to some boxing. All right, so here we are. This is the workout for Friday. We're gonna work on some shadow boxing or boxing style workouts. This is probably one of the best ways to burn a lot of calories in a short period of time. It's an entire full body workout uh, and it's a lot of fun. So uh, we're gonna get right to it. It's one of my favorite ways to reward myself for a Friday uh, because I really enjoy it. It's something that I can get into and look forward to at the end of my training weeks, okay? And it's something a little different. 
We're going to start by working on our footwork. So, little boxing terminology here, okay? Left foot forward, right foot back is going to be an orthodox stance, okay? If I switch stances, so right foot forward, left foot back, this is going to be a southpaw stance. We're going to do every interval and every style of punch in both stances, uh, and we're going to work on the components of a really good boxing form throughout the workout. Okay? We're going to start with footwork. This is the foundation of boxing and it's a really good way to just get the heart rate going and just get in the feel for the workout. So, orthodox stance. I want you to imagine there's a box and your, I'll show you on the mat here, your left foot is the front right left corner of the box, right foot's at the back right corner of the box. Okay? That's your boxing stance. So a little bit spread, a little bit open through the hips. This is going to allow you to snap the hips to throw a punch later on. Okay, get into your boxing stance, get your hands up so we're nice and active, and we're just gonna do step forward, two steps, step back, two steps, we're gonna step to the right, two steps, okay, and the left, two steps, okay? So we're gonna step, 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 step. And you want to be, the point of doing this is that you're ready to throw a punch at any point in your boxing stance. Footwork is the key to any boxing style, okay? We're gonna switch and we're gonna go southpaw. So now the right foot's forward, left foot's back. And again, step forward, step forward, step back, step back, out, out, back, back, okay? And we're gonna go for the entire interval working on our footwork orthodox and then interval number two, southpaw, okay? Then we're gonna get into throwing some punches, okay? So. One, really two big keys with punching, okay? The first is that the punch needs to come from the hips, okay? So that means when I go to punch forward, I'm snapping my hips open, and when I go to punch the other way, I'm snapping my hips across, okay? So think about putting a cigarette butt out with your toes, okay? I'm gonna put out the cigarette butt, see how my toes are now pointing this way, I snap the hips, reload, snap the hips, okay? For this first interval, we're just gonna be doing a jab. And jab is your lead hand. So when I'm in orthodox stance, my left foot's forward, my left foot is, my left arm is gonna jab, okay? Now the second key with throwing any punch is to exhale through the punch. So here we go, reload, reload. Snap the hips, snap the hips, and we're just gonna start slow, throwing a jab, and then we're gonna speed it up. Orthodox, and then southpaw, second interval, really working on that form. <laughs> Putting out cigarette butts with those feet, okay? That's intervals two, three and four. Intervals five and six, we're gonna be throwing crosses. So a cross is just like it says, a cross body punch, so you're gonna throw with your trail arm. Okay, so now we're in orthodox stance again. This is interval number five. We're gonna get lo loaded. We're gonna put out cigarette butts with our feet and throw that cross. <laughs> Exhale through the punch. <laughs> we're gonna start nice and fast, slow, and then we're gonna speed it up. <laughs> okay, orthodox southpaw, same thing. Trail arm, trail hip, snap that hip, throw the punch. Okay, now we're gonna do hooks. Okay, so a hook is a, a scooping punch. We're trying to come from the side and throw a punch that way, okay? We're gonna throw lead hooks and, and follow hooks, okay? So orthodox stance, left foot's forward, right foot's back. Again, we're gonna put out cigarette butts, we're gonna and then come from the, the right hand or the trail hand. We're gonna speed it up. Southpaw, same thing. Arms are at 90 degrees, so the elbow's up, the fist is coming in at 90 degrees. And then speed it up. Exhaling through every punch, okay? Now, we're gonna finish up with throwing combos, jabs and crosses, okay? This is where it gets a little bit more like boxing, okay? So we're gonna be in self-orthodox stance. And you can see, just throwing this workout, this is very metabolic, it's gonna get the heart rate up. Full body workout, okay? I'm gonna throw a jab and then a cross. 
reset. Reset. And we speed up. Maybe we do a four. Maybe we do some speed boxing. We'll mix it up throughout each round and then south paw again. Really snapping through those hips, extending through the whole arm in the punch. And we're gonna go back to the top and do two, maybe three rounds, depending on how we're feeling of that. Really gonna get you going and excited for the next month of training with us here at Delphi. We'll see you in February. Thanks for participating in January Jumpstart. It has been awesome and looking forward to what's to come. Uh, as always, any questions, any suggestions, any requests, please email us. We'd love to hear from you and help us get better as we go forward.